kitchen. They're kind of like under my cupboards. Kind of like under my cupboards. I'm cooking tacos right now. And <clears throat> I wanted to come on here and say hello to all of my penny shoppers and my couponers because I haven't talked to you guys in forever. And I just want to see um, how you guys are doing and say hey. And I really miss couponing and penny shopping. You guys, we, I've been home for uh, going on three weeks now. I have not left the house. The only time any of us have left, which would only be Jake. Jake's the only one that's left. We call in our grocery order, or uh, we order it online. And then we drive up, we don't get out, Jake doesn't get out, and they put it in the back of the truck and we go. That's the only outside world interaction we have had in about three weeks. So, I don't know, it just makes, you know, I made a post, I made a post a couple weeks ago because I was still doing the penny list because there were still some people that um, their community wasn't really um, social distancing yet or at least wasn't taking it seriously at that point. Um, there weren't any cases in their area or whatever the reasons may be. Even though I was actively on all of other platforms, um, very much against going out and about, going couponing, going penny shopping, because those weren't like essential items or necessities, you know what I mean? They were not things that we needed to be out risking our own safety and the health and safety of others. And I still believe that. Um, and I kind of joined that on on uh, Facebook. I, I always have been for that. Like, And in my mind, I'm like, I, I just can't send these people out couponing and penny shopping knowing that they could potentially um, get very, very sick and possibly die because they're out. Because who doesn't want a good, good deal? Somebody's posting a really good deal or, or stuff that's a penny. You want to race out and you want to get it. And I get it. It's like, I love doing this. I love penny shopping and I love couponing. I love the rush that it gives me. I love the gratification that I get. I love being able to help my friends and family that um, can't afford to get those items at full cost. You know, like the whole thing, I just love it. So I know that I made some people angry because we weren't in such a spot in the United States at that point for everyone to take this seriously. So. I'm sure I lost some followers at that point. I didn't even look at my subscriber count when I posted that video because I struggled with it for about a week about if I was going to stop doing this or not. And so I have no idea if I actually lost subscribers or not. Either way, guys, every time I sprinkle pepper, I sneeze, like every time, and I just put pepper in there right before I hit record. Um, Bless me. I sneezed into my elbow away from my food. Okay. Guys, I never know where to look on this phone, ever. I need to be looking right here, which is weird to me, because then I can't see myself, because if I look down this way, I can see myself. Anyways, I'll quit rambling. So I stopped doing the penny shopping and the couponing videos because I didn't want to be part of the problem. I didn't want to be sending people out into the community um, for no reason. There's no reason to be out penny shopping, in my opinion. I still have these groups on Facebook, big groups with like 40,000 people in them. I still moderate those groups. There are still people that penny shop in those groups. There are still people that coupon in these groups. And that's awesome. I'm just not sending them out, promoting them. Will I help them if they have questions? Um, yes, I'll answer questions if they have them. But I'm not going to be the one that's like, oh my goodness, you can get a case of Mountain Dew right now, Dollar General, for $2. You know, I'm not going to... I'm not going to promote going out and about at all. Um, so because of that, you know, anybody that has a YouTube platform, there, there's two reasons generally. They want to help people in some way, shape, or form, whether that's through teaching them how to do something or um, 
just anything. Being their friend, being there for them, giving them advice, showing them how to do the makeup, whatever. There are several reasons. But then we also get paid from YouTube based on our views that we have. So when we stopped making penny shopping videos and couponing videos, um, my views went down. Everybody's views went down. All the couponing people, their views went down. So you kind of have to pivot at that point. And you know what? Some people, that's their sole income. Um, thankfully, that's not mine. I also sell makeup. I also um, have my own woodworking business uh, at home. So I'm good. But the it still is income that we depended on. You know what I mean? Like we rely on it. So... It definitely has hurt me as far as views go to not make the penny shopping and couponing videos so I've tried to make some videos here and there about things that we or I have done the response to them is not even sort of the response that I get uh, for the penny shopping and the couponing so I, I am probably gonna click bait the post here a little bit um, to get you guys to come watch this video and to be quite honest is just so I can get my views up uh, And that's maybe shady or whatever, but it's still legitimately. I'm talking about penny shopping and couponing um, I just it's just something that I want you guys to know if you didn't see my video before uh, I Don't recommend going out and about right now. There are people dying right now there are There are people dying right now, and it's scary. They have shut down literally everything. Um, this is not just like the flu, regardless of if that was your thought process in the beginning, because I know a lot of you were like that, and that's okay. It's, it's something scary and new, and we didn't know anything about it. Uh, but now I hope everyone has realized that it's, it's, it's not okay to go out. Even if you, you know, if you, drive by a store and you're like oh there's there's not that many people there um that doesn't mean go in there there's still germs everywhere all over all of those things i will tell you another little pro tip pro coronavirus tip um we order our food online at our local grocery store and then we drive up and pick it up we wipe down everything that we get with a clorox wipe so the packaging on everything we wipe down with a clorox wipe so that way any truck driver or employee hands that have touched those items before getting to us um yeah we've killed those germs and, and there we let it set for five minutes uh with the cleaning like with it being wet before we bring it in so and we leave we actually leave it set longer than that it's a couple of hours we'll leave stuff outside after we've wiped it off unless it's a cold item we just leave it we just leave it outside <clears throat> so that's how cautious we have been because that's how serious about not getting this virus uh, I am at the moment. Jake's place of business, um, he worked at a big factory. They shut down and thank goodness he gets paid. He doesn't have to, he doesn't have to do the um, unemployment stuff. Also, we'll have the stimulus checks happening. So thank goodness for that. Uh, you know, before all this, and I don't usually get into politics because I don't know enough about it, quite honest, because I don't care. I maybe should care, but I don't. It's just not something that registers with my mind. I'm very, like, artsy, fartsy, spur of the moment, um, carefree. I don't think about politics. It's just not something that ever has interested me. Anyways, I'm not a big Trump fan. Um, not because I think he's a bad president, because I don't think he's a bad president, but because he was just an arrogant asshole. I mean, I guess I'm an arrogant asshole too if you really want to be, you know, truthful. <laughs> I don't know, I just didn't like him. You know, some people you don't like. But that never, I never meant or thought because he was a bad president. That was never my mindset. But during this, I really feel like he's done a good job taking care of everyone. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's kind of a big deal. And we can't even put him up against anyone else because like who else has ever you know, been a president through something as catastrophic as this, as far as the entire uh, country is concerned. You know what I mean? Anyways, that's just my opinion. 
So basically I'm here to just see how you guys are doing and tell you that I miss you and I miss penny shopping and I miss couponing and please don't leave me because when this is over, when this is over, we will go back at it hard and we'll be doing all the penny shopping and all the couponing. And until then, I really hope you enjoy my videos about me cooking and making stuff because that's, that's my normal life. Anyways, mention in the comments how you guys are doing. Uh, let me know how you're getting your groceries. Let me know how it is in your communities, how as far as, you know, your restrictions and whatever. I would love to hear all about it. Um, and stick with me. I promise when this is over, we'll get right back to the way things were before uh, and probably even better. So there's that. So coronavirus this. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye.